Welcome to DTLT today, and look at this. I am finally no longer alone. Good hey, stuff. everybody. In case you don't know who this is, this is Jim Groom. He's actually our director, and on occasion, he comes to work. So Every so often. Every, you know. But when, now he's sick. So he's my like, fancy. So he's yeah. useless to so he us. He catches my fancy. So, and, of course, Andy Rush. The Andy Rush. Hey, Miles. Hello? And this is Miles. Yeah. This my is buddy, the, Miles. Yes, and you're not even in the screen. Move over. <laughs> You're non-diegetic right now. As you can see, we have a What's studio audience today, and we were trying to give them tips ahead of time on how to respond as we talk about what we're going to talk about. And maybe they will when we say things like, this is cool. Isn't this cool? Go out and get it. Ooh, ah. Ah. Go out in the hallway Bless you. All right. So, it's out we, in the hallway, Otto. What are we talking about, Jim? Well, talk about... Uh, cool uses of UMW blogs this semester so far, and there are many. Um, we're going to highlight some. We may forget a few, so we apologize in yeah. advance. Can I ask you yeah. something? But no, you cannot. Quiet, boy. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do is Jim, we're going to that's bullying. Okay, all the Stingroom family <laughs> and all these people <laughs> are, like, rocking out, and they're, like, doing their own thing, and they're, like, the famous people in all the world, and there's one over there. Son, you're like a child lost in the woods. You have no context for what we're talking about. Yeah, I do. I have context, and they are uh, and everybody's just working on the computer like. So Miles, so Miles, what do you think of UMW blogs? Uh, I think that it's great, and I think this is the best UMW blogs I ever seen. Okay. This is your dad's bread and butter here. Yeah, yeah bread and butter. Yeah. What? Bread and butter? Are you? You know, you see that sweatshirt you wear. Mm -hmm. It should not say soccer. It should say UMW blog. <laughs> because that's what put that sweatshirt on your back. Then go get me an UMW blog shirt. <laughs> I should. You're a good question. Okay, look, you're hijacking our show. Out. No. You're off the couch. You're officially off the cuddle couch. I'm off the cuddle couch. You're no. banished then from why, the cuddle couch. Then why is the, if I'm banished, then why do you I like, have don't have to go outside? Because <laughs> I can come in the screen any time. All right, this is going well. <laughs> this is good. UMWblogs.org, and I should point out, I've got the website here. There's actually a page that lists all the courses that are happening throughout the semester. So it's a kind of uh, cool place to go. And uh, if you go up top here and click on courses, and you get a list of everything that's happening this semester. So not only is it good for me as a bookmark of what's going on during the semester, but it's cool for people to go in there and see what Mary Washington is doing with the program. And a lot of times, one of the things that we thought was very cool is that faculty actually, without us knowing, look at other faculty sites. Yeah. And they model okay, them look what I made um, on top look, of that, which is interesting. Look what I made yeah. Beautiful. So it's a good open resource. Right. Without having to kind of imagine Go open me. as a kind of OER. Go there. Like I feel like we're being circled by sharks. <laughs> 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 Miles, what are you doing? Look at the penguin. Can I tie him, Tess? Okay. And where are the is this is my dad. Oh, I'm a director. I can do this now. <laughs> my dad is the best. My dad is the best. So, Tim, what's our first example? <laughs> 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 This is actually one that Jim brought up. What uh, is it? You would say P E S. This site is uh, Women in Modernism. Well, Gyno Mod. Gyno Mod by tell Mara Scanlon. Well, what I really like about it is that, shh, quiet boy. What I really like about okay, this. Okay, I thought it was going to be the U. Can we talk about this for a second? We have people paying top dollar to watch this TV show right now. Now, we have a group of the faculty. I mean, the students every week do an audio presentation that we've now have them capturing 
and we have an audio library of all their presentations over the course of the semester so far mm -hmm. on various topics and they also do a blog post in relationship to it that frames their presentation slides they're thinking about the presentation their research all that now that's only one small part of what this blog is used for it's also used for ongoing sharing of links as you see in the front page of it um, videos resources etc but she kind of built in this formalized element to share the actual work the students do moving forward. Yeah, and, and that's going to become a repository or whatever you want to call it. But it's actually part of the real resources. Yeah, I love the embedded audio. Uh, <laughs> I website. Ah. <laughs> great stuff. Bah, bah, bah. It's really... Blah, 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 blah. All right. <laughs> the UCP has its ideas on me, soccer. This is where I'll unschooling right. get you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some important content. And here comes the big burp. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't, I don't believe in discipline. <laughs> Not unlike much of the office, even when it's just Jim here. This so. is a train wreck. Okay, Miles, so. Tessie, quiet now. We gotta finish this strong. Can I guys tell you something? Yeah. This might be an interesting part to go with the Lions. Yes. Yeah, Miles, come here. Come here. I gotta tell you something. Tell you something. All right. The next one that I wanted to take a look at is. You <laughs> can't take that. We need it. Our set is literally coming apart in front of our eyes. No, it is. Okay. Very good. Yes, thank you. Now, Tash, you got to be good and quiet. All right. The next one we should talk about is Jeff McClurkin's Information Age Timeline. That's right. Um, this is at infoagetimeline.umwblogs.org. And they're actually using simile. Yes. For this, and this is a plugin on top of WordPress. So the Simile WordPress plugin that allows them to create posts that then show up on the timeline. In um, and if I click on one of these, you can see. <laughs> I just put it. I put it just on my head. Cut back the camera. <laughs> put that back on. Okay. And then go out and dance in front of the camera. <laughs> Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you gotta be good. Oh we gotta finish this. That was you guys had both had your time in the sun. Is that funny? Uh, yeah, it was. Now you gotta stop, or else people aren't gonna think you're funny. They think you're annoying. It's a thin line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as we know. Um, so this is the info age timeline. Uh, and when you click on these posts, you can see they're able to insert uh, photos. Some of them use video, uh, pictures, all kinds of good stuff in there. Now, also, didn't Al Liddell and Martha figure out how to deal with the BC? They did. So, yeah, Simile supports um, BC dates, but this timeline plugin that we were using did not. So, Alan uh, wrote some sort of adjustment to it. That's awesome. Yeah, it's very cool. That he did that. So they're Go student aides. Yeah, they're continuing to work on that. Um, that is info age timeline, but uh, information age .org is where they're actually narrating the process of creating it. And uh, Jeff McClurkin goes on there and posts information for them and that kind of thing, too. So they're actually using two separate sites, um, which is a model well, that, that a lot of professors like to use. Yeah, and that, but that's linked off the main site. And yeah. Jeff actually linked to a couple of really good examples of uh, ads that his students did in the time ass. period, in the time period of the era. Yeah. Which I thought was, they were really well done. Mushies. What did I say? Okay, Mustache. Go get some water. Go outside and get water. I don't need water. Okay. Now, if we're talking about innovative websites, we should definitely talk about the Venice exhibit. This is something yeah. that's a 2011 iteration of something that already exists, right? Yeah, and kudos. Absolutely. It's been, this is the third iteration, but kudos oh, okay. to you to bringing the design to the next level. We, for, we lost the first iteration. Oh, okay. It was on a Bluehost account. And... Bluehost, I don't know what happened, but we lost the whole database. Yeah. Nightmare. So, this is Marjorie Ox class, and they have, uh, they did this last time in 2008, or was it last year? How? 2009. 2009. And then before then, 2007. Okay. 
So every two years she teaches this seminar. Gotcha. And um, so the, the, that original site was venice.umwblogs.org. This one is venice11.umwblogs.org. And I'll pull this up. What's great about this is this is using the autofocus theme. Yeah, this is nice. You should and, show some of this off. Well, it's really cool stuff because uh, one thing that we were able to do is we randomized the post. So anytime you go to the website, when you Whoa, refresh it, the they're completely room. reordered. What's going on? And so with these Miles things, is <laughs> what I'm doing anymore. You're lost. I'm they have lost. shaken you. <laughs> you because your kid's this. only one. Yeah. <laughs> show them how they can move the images. Oh, I have to log in. For you got to be able to work on the pressure here, GLT. And it's got to be working in the treasures. I've got to log in real quick. Okay. You, know, you want me to do this? So this is used in the autofocus theme, and this is actually the pro version, which costs, I want to say like $25 or something, but it's well worth it because in addition to letting you do things like pull in flicker images and stuff like that into it, it which this makes a really awesome just portfolio. Yeah. We've got at least one other art professor, Joe DiBello, using this for his actual portfolio site. You should really update it. Yeah. Because that updated premium version is nice. Yeah. So, but if I go here, now that I'm logged in, what's nice is, so this automatically crops the image for you, but let's say you wanted to move this around. When you've got your mouse over it, you can actually just slide the image around, hit the save button, and then it remembers that position for the image. So you can crop it to specific areas of the image that you're trying to show, which is just really awesome. They've just started working on some of this stuff, so we're still playing around with some of this. Uh, but it shows photo credits when you roll over it, uh, and they're going to be putting in other information down below. And we're also talking, I guess, about uh, combining this with uh, categories or related posts in some way so that we yeah. can uh, relate posts between each other for uh, different parts of the exhibit that go together, like, for example, the ones that use glass. But I love the like way that. that this image up top can, if you put six images in that post, if you upload six images to that post, it can be a slideshow. Right. Each with its own kind of little caption, and then the, the, the text below can narrate another kind of series of uh, discussions. Yeah. You know, information, bibliography, all that. So and it's a cool, it's a very cool framework. And the other thing that's nice, we're playing around, uh, they've got fancy box JavaScript built into it, so you can have a gallery down below, and when you click on them, it zooms them in full screen like this, which looks really awesome, too. So yeah. I'm excited for what this is going to be when it's all done. This opens December 14th. It's their official So we have a month just opening. about. <laughs> yeah. That so. seems weird. Yeah. Well, you know, luckily the theme and, and the framework is taking care of a lot of it. They're happy with it. All we really have to do is kind of come up with a couple of hacks for the categories and related posts. Yeah. Now, can that only be used by that site, or is that a, a site-wide theme that can be used? That's a site -wide. I mean, anybody can use that theme. Okay. Yeah, yeah. so it's the newer version of Autofocus. That shows and you bought it, Tim. you got to stop paying for all this stuff. We gotta get you reimbursed, do dude. We gotta do for the Amazon and for this. I do want to mention some of Zach Whalen stuff. Zach Whalen, we had on a previous show a little while back, and he does some really incredible stuff. Um, one of them is actually being ran in part, not not solely, but in part through Reddit.com, and it's, it's nice. like writing that. through media class. And you can see that one of their assignments is they've got to try and get themselves upvoted by the Reddit community. Yeah. Which is interesting because it's actually started to conform the way that they what they post and how they write it so yeah. you can see where they sort of play into the strengths of the memes that exist in reddit um, so that's kind of fun too. and i love that idea of and, and jeff mcclurkin has started to do it a little bit also with his info uh, classes the idea of really bringing your discussion out on the web yeah you know they blogs i mean i think really kind of models that but when you start getting off that entirely and you're doing it on reddit or some other place i mean awesome you know right. all the better yeah and the other one that's really cool is he's actually got a graphic novel class that's going on right now. Yeah. And you mentioned he's got a pretty decent looking site, but it's running in Drupal. But the students have blogs on umwblogs.org that are using the Comic Press Comic Press theme, theme framework. So I just uploaded the other day another <laughs> like six or seven child themes for Comic Press, okay. which allow the students to get a wide range of kind of themes within the theme design. So there's, I think, about five or six groups that are doing graphic novels. 
and they're building them on UMW blogs. Um, and they're really compelling stuff. It's very cool. It's wild. I love that. Thank you, Tommy. So, I mean, and we've been doing that with him for years, but see what happened and what really is to me the story of UMW blogs this semester is it seems like it's so much more responsive quick mm -hmm. and when we put plugins and themes up like this they just work yeah and we're having like a lot of success it's a really kind of mature robust system right now and mm -hmm. i mean i think we're start we're only talking about a fraction of them we can look at chris boss's oscar wilde seminar yeah. um we could look at the james farmer distributed seminars we're doing um we could look at the computer science stuff some of the uh, i mean there's amazing stuff happening all over the community well, and what's so nice about it, too, is that, you know, because the WordPress community, I mean, there's so many plugins, so many themes that it's really like it empowers you to be able to say whatever you want, we can make it happen. And, and yeah. that's really been the toe line that when people come in and say, I've got this idea, I want to do this or that with WordPress, usually we can say, yeah, well, let's figure it out, but we can do that. Well, what about the stuff you did? And I love because Tim's been experimenting with um Custom posts mm. is you did that stuff with Will Martha, McIntosh. Martha too with the online learning initiative. Absolutely, and she so. did that whole thing and digress it. Mm -hmm. So it's really, and I love the idea that yes, it deals with courses, but then there's a whole series of stuff dealing with administrative administrative sites, mm -hmm. dealing with like um, kind of useful practical sites like submission and um, vetting of each other's proposals for an right. online learning initiative. Uh, it's just really, and then students still, for example, go to this site. This is a great example. It's called HireHassan.com. Got an email from the student yesterday. How do you spell Hassan? H-A-S-S-A-N. Hire Hassan. Great uh, student. I think he's graduated. He's gone now. HireHassan.com. Nothing. H-A-S-S-A-N. H-I-R-E. I was doing hire, is it? Oh, Lift me. like hire he was hire. hire? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, like that. But so here's a great example. Uh, he's been playing with this for a year and a half. He emailed me the other day. He added a couple of things he wanted me to help him hack out because the actual archive site was showing all his pages. He's using this to apply to several different law schools. And each law school he has a predetermined page for mm -hmm. that he doesn't want the others to see. <laughs> so he really kind of, this is a Genesis theme framework that he kind of worked with. And I really love what he's done with it. I, mean, I, really I just nice. think is a really, this is a student who's no longer here, who's using it very specifically to go to grad school, to get hired, sure. and this is someone who just emailed me the other day, and it's like very little time investment on my part, mm -hmm. and I love what they're doing with it. Well, and we mentioned, you know, we always have those one-off stories here and there of the interaction with the community around your new blogs, but you blogged about this just recently with one oh, that came to the fore. This is that awesome. That was just really cool <laughs> stuff. So Rosemary Janowski has... Jess uh, Janowski. Jess Janowski? Yeah. Uh, I, knew I, I think that's that. right, but I, I wouldn't even put money on it. Yeah. Well, she's got this digital arts class that she's teaching on UMW Blogs. This is the website, um, and each student has their own blog with interesting stuff. And you blogged about this uh, just the other day. It's a thing that's been going on for years between her and this artist, or the students and this artist. And they have traditionally panned his art. Because <laughs> she has them go out and look at artists online and review their work. Right. And they have panned him, and he's take their pans and put them on his about page. Because <laughs> he's a digital artist. Like, and basically, like, you know, uni University of Mary Washington students saying, his art makes me feel cold. Or I feel nothing, I feel numb. Right. His art's like a dead fish. And so they actually, you know, he's played with this, but I guess they took it to the next level, and he loved it. They actually started imitating his art. They right. did. And so he wrote a big post about, you know, how honored he was yeah. that they hate my art so much they think they can do it <laughs> effortlessly. <laughs> and so, like, there's this great back and forth between a digital artist in L.A. and a group of kind of students at Mary Washington that are really having this fun back and forth. And for me, that is the best yeah. possibility of UMW. That's UMW Blogs at its best. And I just think it's fun because they're honest, they're open, but they're playing a game. And that game around the art and around them mocking the art and around the artists responding, mm -hmm. really for me is everything that's magical about the social web. Yeah. And that we can kind of harness that on UMW Blogs is just, I mean, it's what we've always all worked for. Yeah. And, and 
you know, you don't want to be a broken record about it, but the fact that it's published to the web instead of locked behind an LMS is just huge. I mean, well, those kind of interactions just don't happen when you ask your student to put up a discussion post inside of Blackboard. And I've been on tour, as you know, recently, and I've heard <laughs> from I've, you both. I've heard it. Yeah. That's right. But one of the things I say while I'm on tour, amongst the other several genius things I say, <laughs> um, one of the things I note is that, you know, if you search the term band art in Google, search the term uh, Black Mountain Poets in Google, UMW blog sites are the first hit or the second hit yeah. on Google for these kind of really kind of important intellectual terms. And so how do we, we we're, we're starting to see that. We've been around long enough. We have enough Google juice. We have enough good kind of respected articles. But how do we keep pushing that? And how do we kind of encourage other universities? Because we're starting to see with the right tools, we can populate the web with the right and kind of not the right content, but with some valuable content. I don't think there's any right content. Um, you know, and I think a lot of people who saw that Jeff Bai thing between the students and them would not think that's the right kind of content <laughs> because it's very tongue in cheek and, you know, even gets a little nutty. Hmm. But I think it's enough. Like the platform can contain multitudes, yeah. kind of like Whitman. Yep. And that's what we love about it. And it also reaps tremendous rewards in terms of our students being found. I mean, Search hire Hassan, you know, search that guy Hassan, he's the first hit. Yeah. I mean, students realize that, they're not stupid. Mm -hmm. You know, and they know that some things that are easier or harder in other platforms, fine, but Word, you and Big Blacks has something other platforms don't have, and that is respectability and extremely powerful search possibilities. Yeah. It puts them in a situation to be discovered, mm -hmm. which is really what you want. Right, Miles? Oh. No. no, because I hate your show. <laughs> well, there you have and it. And on that note, <laughs> yeah. we, we tried, we failed, that he hates our show. Hopefully you don't. I, Hopefully you'll I keep tuning it. in. I love it. Those oh, good. good examples of, of good want. stuff that's going on at Mary Washington. It's not let me talk and not let me do my thing. Okay, why don't you get that, that, that before we end, why don't you get that wig on and the glasses and the stuff. Fine. Thanks. Okay, before we go, though, um, our special guest, and I want to kind of apologize. I know my kids were here having fun, but I kind of, it's okay. I wasn't You're apologizing, apologizing to you. Um, you should. I wasn't. <laughs> this is my yeah, show. It is. It's not your show. Hi. <laughs> and hi. Say hi. But, you know, hi. my kids just wanted to make one last goodbye, and I wanted to have them apologize to the community. But Miles has something to show you. I'm sorry, out for a second. Um, my brother's going to be very funny, and I don't want you to say this. He's going to be very funny. Right. Okay, ready? Really it's not funny when you explain. One, two, three, come out, Miles. Okay. We don't know. Are you almost done? Okay, we're ready. ready. That's <laughs> DTLT <laughs> today. Close your eyes and I'm And we have one more thing for you. One, come on out, Miles. Two, this is quite the reveal. <laughs> come on out, buddy. Three. Come on out, buddy. I'm a two-headed guy. Go, go, go. go. Yes. Thank you.